haven't vlogged for like ever so i decided i'm going to get back into it today with a full day of eating this meal of the day is some kodiak pancakes i have two servings of the mix and one serving of chocolate chips and i'm going to be using a serving or so of sugar-free syrup my pancakes it is 10 13 friday the second and i'm going to make a bowl of oatmeal because that did not do anything for me here is my oatmeal i have 50 grams of oats with 17 grams of peanut butter Here is my breakfast. I had the oatmeal with the peanut butter and then the pancakes ends up being a total of 774 calories. I wasn't planning on doing the 10K food challenge today, but I decided to just go for it. I've been wanting to do this challenge for a couple of years and I was planning on doing it on Dave's birthday, which is in like about two and a half weeks, but I decided just to do it today. It is currently 11.36 and all I've had today so far is the pancakes and the oatmeal so i'm at 774 calories we're about to go out to eat and i'm gonna go and pick up a muffin from a local store i don't really have like the right nutritional facts to track certain foods that i'm going to eat so i'm just going to use other like places to track what I'm eating. So for example, right now I'm going to go pick up a coffee muffin because I've been craving a muffin for so long. So I'm gonna go pick one up and I'm just going to use Dunkin' Donuts coffee muffin to track it. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to hit 10,000 calories, but I'm going to give it my best shot. I wanted to film like a physique update before the challenge and then weigh myself, take my measurements, and then check in with you guys a week after. But since I decided to do it last minute, I'm not going to do any of that. I did take some selfies this week, so I'm just going to insert some pictures of me that I took on Monday and Tuesday, just so you guys can see where I'm at right now with my physique. And then I will, you know, check in with you guys within a week and let you guys know how long it takes for me to get back to normal. It's gonna be extremely hard to film, but this is what I'm eating next. It is a coffee, muffin it's pretty big so I'm just gonna use um, Dunkin Donuts to track it
four down, four more to go. had eight slices I had six of them they are very greasy but I had six slices of pizza it is damn it cold it is one of three still the second so I had six out of eight all right I'm going to give you guys a quick update um, I just had six slices of a 14 inch pepperoni pizza that is 19 uh, 1980 calories and the muffin and my breakfast I am at 33.44 and it's 104. We're on our way to our next location. We're gonna go get insomnia cookies. They're like these huge delicious cookies and we're gonna get like an ice cream sandwich. So that's where we're going now. Alright, I got two deluxe cookies with vanilla ice cream. guys we just got home it is 2:52. i am extremely full that cookie sandwich did it for me i'm going to take about an hour and a half break so i basically set the timer for two hours after i finished eating so i'm going to just digest a little bit um edit this part of this vlog clean a little bit just move around and then try to get a couple of more calories in I want to give myself a deadline because usually I cut my food at around 6 p.m. So I'm just going to cut my food by 10. So if I don't finish by 10 p.m., I'm not going to try to force food down my throat. So we'll see if I finish. I did start pretty late. I think I only had like 700 calories by noon. So I did start late, but I'm still going to give it a shot. It is currently 4.23 on oh, my alarm time to eat <laughs> so it's 4 23 i'm not going to lie i'm actually really full and i don't know if i'll be able to do it i went to the grocery store to pick up a couple of things 
to help me uh, get my calories up and I was walking through the aisles and I just wanted to throw up because I didn't want to buy anything I don't want to eat but I'm still going to try so like I said it is 4 23 and I have a muffin and some chips that I'm going to try to eat before 5 because I have a client at 5 so I bought some takis I basically am eating all the things that I've been craving the, this past couple of weeks because I don't want to just eat pointless calories. Like if I'm going to eat junk food, I'm going to eat the things that I've been craving. So I've been craving these chips. This entire bag is about like, like 1,300, 13, almost 1,400 calories. So if I eat this entire bag, I have 1,400 calories to add. And then, does that even make sense? If I finish this bag, I will be up 1400 calories and then I bought another muffin I've been craving a chocolate muffin so I got a chocolate muffin and I'm going to use Costco's double chocolate muffin to track this so it's just basically chocolate with chocolate chips so I'm going to start with the chips and then move on to the muffin when I get tired of the chips with the first bowl. I have like no appetite. But these chips are pretty good. Mm, I can tell. My stomach is going to cook later. Ah. David, I need help. Mm. I want to throw up. Mm. All right, so that's the last of the bag. Ugh. I'm so full. I am so full. I think I'm hitting a wall. The chips. Uh, I can't finish the chips. Right. My mouth is cut up. I think I'm gonna weigh them. Weigh how much I have left and then subtract it from the bag. All right, so there's no way I'm gonna finish these. I just feel like shit, I'm gonna throw up and I don't wanna throw up. So what I'm going to do is pour whatever I have left and weigh it out, so. 
Mm, so there's 57 grams and one serving is 30 grams. So there's two servings left and there's nine servings in total. So I had seven servings. So um, let's see. So that puts me at, damn it, I didn't even hit 6,000. That puts me under 6,000 calories. I don't know if I'm going to finish this. I feel really shitty. And I don't want to like stuff my stomach with food just to try to finish. I don't want to throw up. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I have to go train a client in like 10 minutes. So I'm going to go train my clients and then when I get back I will decide if I want to keep eating or if I want to call it quits. I am currently at 5,794 calories and I feel like crap but it's still kind of early. I'm going to try to at least finish this muffin and maybe try to finish the chips. Probably should have started earlier and I probably should have planned for this. I like did not plan for this at all. I wasn't planning on doing this so my appetite wasn't as, as high as usual. Just looking at it makes me want to throw up. Definitely good. Come on, I just feel really nauseous and I feel like every single time I eat or drink anything, it gets worse. So I just don't want to throw up. I don't want to eat this. Mm. I'm gonna flip you guys around. You would like this muffin if you were. Hold on, I can't see you. You guys can't see my face. Like, this muffin would be good if you were actually hungry and craving something like this. Like maybe a week ago, I would have loved this, but right now I feel like throwing up. I'm done. I'm not eating anymore. I think it's also because I'm not used to eating past six. Like usually I cut my food. You cut your food at four, I That's what I mean. I cut my food around four. I'm not used to eating this late. I'm just going to track half a double chocolate muffin. I just, I don't want to get sick over this. I think I'm going to call it quits. I don't want to get sick over this. Probably should have planned for this. But it's too late now. I gave it a shot. And I honestly don't see myself ever wanting to do this again. It is not a good feeling to eat food that's supposed to taste good. And it not taste good because you're so full. So Dave was not doing the 10k food challenge with me. But he ended up eating pretty close to the same amount as me. So we're going to share our macros for today. So my calories ended up being a total of 6,139. My carbs are at 534, my fat at 277, and my protein is at 86 grams. And Dave is going to share his. 6,516 calories. Let's see. Oh, wait. All right, I had 680 grams of carbs, 335 grams of fat, <laughs> and 223 grams of protein. We're gonna wake up fat. I don't think you guys wanna see mine. Mine actually looks like I'm pregnant right now. And my ass feels huge. Like I think my ass gained like 20 inches. I'm walking around and I feel like I'm like wobbling all over oh, the place. Oh, oh, oh. 
So the plan for tomorrow is to, actually the plan for the next uh, couple of days is to drink a lot of water. So by increasing my water intake, that's going to help me get rid of um, water that I'm holding from the extra carbs and sugars and sodium that I just ate. And I'm going to listen to my hunger levels. So I'm going to clean up my diet for the next couple of days, drink a ton of water, just listen to my body, work out, get moving, and just hopefully I feel better within a week because I feel so shitty right now. Like I just want to lay down and cuddle in a little ball yes, and no. watch TV. I like the cuddle part. But not really. I mean, 8.45. I did kind of give up at around 6, but I decided to kind of just keep pushing until 10. So I'm going to finish the rest of the chips and then the muffin and that should bump up my calories to almost 7,000 calories. Open. And I have stupid muffin. This is not as good as I thought it was going to be. It's good, but I'm just, sweets are not my thing. That stupid cookie killed my appetite. You want some muffin? Oh, Saddle Baby wants some muffin. Oh, Saddle Baby wants some muffin. <laughs> Done with the stupid muffin. I'm going to add the rest of the chips and the muffin and see where I'm at. So I had a total of the nine servings of chips. And where's the muffin? Um, and I'm tracking the Costco muffin, which is 690 calories. So I'm at a total of 6,784 calories, and it is about to be 9 p.m. It is 9.22. I'm going to eat some ice cream. I have some of this like chocolate mint fudge ice cream for one serving. Oh, holy crap, it's 310 calories for one serving. That's a lot of calories, which is good. But I'm going to just try to finish as much as I can. So I'm going to have the food skill with me and I'm just going to eat straight out of it and then log in whatever I end up eating. <laughs> I just ate three servings of this ice cream. I'm gonna throw up. David, can you do three times 10? What is it, 9.30? I think I'm gonna call it quits. This ice cream's pretty good, but that fudge is killing me. So, a total of three servings. I'm going to log that ice cream into my fitness pal and see where I'm at. 
They had three servings. Almost 8,000. All right. My calories are going to end up at 7,714. It is 9.33 p.m. That is going to be it for this challenge. I tried my best. I don't want to force feed myself and feel sick. So I'm just going to end it here. I'm happy with 7,000, almost 8,000 calories. I'm actually pretty happy with that. If you guys enjoyed this video, I just wanted to do it for fun. I've been wanting to do it for a couple of years now. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not a subscriber. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And go follow me on Instagram. Hasta la vista, baby.